Yeah, there was a, a day that certainly changed my life and the life of a lot of other people. Peter Gross vividly remembers the day a terrorist nearly killed his son, Matt, who was visiting a New York City skyscraper just 12 miles away from his suburban Montclair, New Jersey home. That man was a terrorist who came to the United States with virtually no identity. It wasn't the attack on the World Trade Center. This one took place atop the Empire State Building in 1997. A Palestinian man unleashed a reign of terror with a semi-automatic weapon. I think that we need to check on the background of who's getting guns, if we can. Um, and I believe that uh, where there's no background available, especially because it's somebody who's come in from another country, um, I think we need to refuse the sale. A bullet through Matt's brain shattered his dream of making it big with his rock band and left his bandmate dead. Gross, like many of his Montclair neighbors, is now a gun control activist. A recent survey shows only 7% of Montclair residents say they own a gun. The gun issue was one of the great divides of the 2000 election. Urban gun control advocates voted for Gore, and small town gun rights supporters voted for Bush. In Franklin, Tennessee, nearly 46% of the people surveyed here said they own a gun, which explains why Brian Hassler's gun shop is so busy. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Is that 357? Everyone from, you know, uh, blue collar workers to doctors, lawyers, uh, everyone. We've even got a few country music singers, obviously, that, uh, that come in here and buy from me. Hassler understands the gun issue has pulled an emotional trigger. People, you know, uh, from New Jersey, a lot of times they, the only time they've ever seen a gun is, you know, on the side of a policeman. And uh, they're just not that big uh, hunting tradition that is going to, you know, make people familiar with guns from uh, their young ages. Matt now has seizures and has lost his ability to smell, but he still loves to play the guitar. His father doubts both sides of the gun battle will ever be in tune with one another, but says it would be nice if politics aside, they could come up with some real answers before 2004. Ginger Gadsden, USA Today. Let it be.